Our economy continues on solid footing, and we've made considerable gains in recent years to position Alberta as the economic engine of Canada. But while our second quarter fiscal results remain positive, and we continue to forecast a surplus for 24-25, uh, risks are on the rise, and we face mounting pressures. Oil prices have dropped considerably, falling at times below $70 per barrel in the last couple of months. Forecasters are predicting downward pressure on crude oil prices based on uncertainty around the globe. We forecast it now to average $74 US per barrel this fiscal year, in line with the budget forecast, uh, but down $2.50 a barrel from first quarter. Each $1 drop in the WTI price carves out about $630 million from our bottom line. If you look at what we've, what we've spent in year, it's, it's health, it's education, it's um, SCSS, Seniors Community Social Services, and it's all very much directly linked to, you know, population growth. Um, physician compensation is the big, big driver in health, enrollment growth in schools. So we've, we're, we're sticking, sticking to our budget and spending where we must. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the programming and social services are, you know, statutory. It's just, you know, mechanical. Uh, so sticking to the fiscal framework. It's easy to confuse people about the current state of the fiscal year we're in and tracking with the budget that we put down last spring and how the positions changed, uh, you know, from, you know, ensuring that we had prudent, uh, you know, conservative estimates, trying to leave upside for the province. Many, in many ways, this helps us immensely. It means that we're borrowing less. It means that our debt servicing costs within this year have dropped by over $200 million. Less debt that we're taking in the names of those Albertans and provides us the strength to not have to pull back and cut operational spending if we are forced to run a deficit. That's, that's the beauty of the fiscal framework is that if you manage it appropriately, when you have a good year, you can deal with the bad year and you don't have to react in that way. Um, but I would say to those people, we're very committed to the tax cut and part of the consideration will be, um, you know, even if we are forced to uh, face a deficit in 25, you know, is, is Alberta's balance sheet stronger than the individuals we're trying to help? And that'll be part of the conversation at Cabinet. I don't want to box myself in here considering we haven't received, you know, we haven't gone through the budget submissions, but I would point to some of the, I guess, newer uh, industry forecasts on oil. Scotiabank had an industry forecast of $66 for, for 2025 that came out middle of October. Uh, I just saw a forecast of $71.50. Um, you know, if we're in, if we're, if we're in the, the mid-70s, it's certainly a different question. If we're in the sub-70s, it's very likely.